Autism and inclusion. What is autism? Autism is a lifelong spectrum condition which affects how people see, hear, feel, and experience the world. Each person with autism has their strengths and challenges. The month of April has been set aside as World Autism and Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month with this year's theme centered around inclusion. To accept me is to include me. To include me goes beyond integration. It means giving me a seat at the table and having my voice heard. Why inclusion? Inclusion works to the benefit of all. An individual with autism gets to participate in programs in their community with their siblings, friends, and neighbors, receive preparation for adult life in the community, and learn from their peers who serve as role models to help them with social skills and communication, lack of which is a major descriptive characteristics of an individual with autism. So, if acceptance means inclusion, what benefits of inclusion translates to an improved quality of life for an individual living with autism? How then can we as a community imbibe this culture of inclusion? It starts from the home. Rather than segregating, you can pick moments or activities to be intentional about it and build from there. For example, mealtime. Decide as a family to share one meal together. If the individual with autism has dietary options, be intentional about including his meal option in the family mealtime menu. What this says to the, to the individual with autism is, you are a part of this family. You deserve to be on this table and your choices are accepted. At school, create an enabling environment as school owners and classroom teachers to accommodate the learning style of the individual with autism in your environment. Be intentional about interaction. Create learning content that is well understood by all. Create a supportive peer culture, both inside and outside the classroom. What this does is that it empowers learners to respect and trust each other, making empathy and caring fashionable and reinforcing positive and pro-social attitudes. As an employer, have policies that support inclusion in the workplace. Adapt your management and communication style to engage more effectively with different team members. As an employee, consider colleagues' needs and personal circumstances when planning activities. Consciously connect with people who are not the same as you. Practice active listening. That is, listen to hear and understand. Don't be quick to jump into conversations with statements or questions. Uh, I don't know about um, it being fashionable, because when you, you, when you say something as fashionable, it means it's, it, it can go away, right? We want these things that, you, that um, we're being intentional about yeah. to stay. Fashion comes and goes, yeah. but our, the awareness, the intention is permanent and to be grown on and you know, yeah. added to. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but what I'm trying to say is that when you're building awareness, you want to get people to buy in to what you're selling. And to get people to buy in, you have to make it something attractive. that is attractive. For example, you have a classroom, um, a classroom structure whereby everybody knows that, okay, um, because you helped um, Timmy get that food, you really did enjoy it, you know? Oh, I helped, you know, that pride. I was the one that helped Timmy with his lunch. I was the one that helped Tonya, for example, with yep. his, with, I mean, on the playground, he was struggling. I, you know, that's pride. That's what I mean by it becomes fashion. You know, you have that swag that that's the fashion. Like the body, like about. the body system you know, in the classroom. Yeah. So that's what I mean by fashionable. I mean, if, for example, you know that when kids come to my space, you know, they, um, I'm talking about as, um, like, someone that has a business now, for mm -hmm. example, like, you have a play area and everything. Anytime kids come, mm -hmm. they feel at home, they dizzy. You know, you also, as a business owner, you will go proudly to say, my space is inclusive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that pride, that's what I mean by that. And then someone that wants to come and do copy and paste will have to copy and paste 
that inclusiveness mm -hmm. to you know so that's it. You, you you've turned it into a trend you Absolutely. know inclusion is it's that's cool. what I mean by that Inclusion mm -hmm. is cool. It's cool. <laughs> oh, absolutely. It's cool, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So, the, 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 so the by fashionable, you're mm -hmm. saying it, it means it makes it something worth doing, something that everybody wants to do? Yeah, absolutely. Something that you want to emulate, something that you want to, you know, is, you know I want to be on this trend. Shit, yeah, on this trend. And so when, should be when, a when lot the a name is being called, I want to be a part of it. Yeah. Absolutely. And so, because we would copy, perhaps, then we'll take everything and then we'll replicate it. And the bottom line is to keep on giving and keep on um, providing Spreading opportunities for everybody to be there. Now, doesn't that work better with children? I, I feel like children would adapt it much more quickly. It's something that you see in schools. But I just envision, like, you know, adults who are being told to enter this, this space you know, just being very resistant because they might think it might cost them more money. Um, it's something that they think, why would their customers be interested? Why would people want to be interested? In fact, they would turn, they wouldn't it turn their customers away? <laughs> well, it's because it has not affected them yet. I mean, if you're a business owner, you have a relative, you have a child or a relative on the spectrum, then in setting up your business, trust me, you would put that into consideration. I know um, some very good, um, there's this ice cream, really good ice cream um, business, mm -hmm. and, and they have um, children on the spectrum, and I know how much they try to figure out and get organic, mm -hmm. um, organic, um, what's it called, the ingredients for the ice cream now. So you will definitely put it into consideration when it affects you. And that's the point I'm getting at. The point I'm getting at is when we put ourselves in other people's shoes, when you know as a business owner you're putting in the whole, you're looking at the total um, picture, not just the people you want to serve, then you'll be more considerate. But There's my a question would be why, why should you wait <laughs> till it affects you exactly. before you step into that space whatever happens to empathy. um just empathy empathy understanding yes. knowledge arming yourself with you know the right tools and all of that so if I, if you use the example that shalakwe gave in terms of family time okay so you have Let's say I have my child, a toddler or young child that's on the spectrum, and I take them over to the cousin's house. Because cousin A and B don't understand what's mm -hmm. going on with this cousin, they just, or the parents are like, no, no, hey, it's the, the, the bad wife that we married, the whatever. And yes. then you so you kind yes. of get a bit of that. But what I think should be more logical hopefully, if we're all logical beings, is that you would want to step back and figure out why does this individual, why does this child always respond like this? Mm. Have that conversation with a parent who's even come out. Remember the question Tonya asked is that, are you going to keep yourself locked away because you can't fit into this space? So if you've taken that bold step to go out, why don't you tell the next person and that person be more open and accepting or listening to logic? I don't see why we should wait for the moon yeah. to turn green before. It's like we're constantly <laughs> waiting. That, that's you where know? empathy sets in. Like, they don't, there's this before, like she, um, she rightly said, before you even consider, uh, there's this judgmental thing, the bad wife. Oh, why is this child behaving like this? People are not willing and they are not ready to take themselves out to figure out what exactly is going on here why is this wow. child not responding I very to, interesting I, <laughs> very interesting banter up next is asia for stay with us